Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the navigator object in JavaScript language. The navigator object provides information about the device that the browser is running on. So if we have a browser that's running on a computer or tablet or a phone, we can get additional information about our device by using the navigator object. In this tutorial I'm gonna show you few properties, few navigator properties and maybe one or two methods of this object. So if we want to use navigator's properties First we need to type navigator and choose a property. For example, first property that I want to use is app name and this property is going to give us the name of our application, the name of our browser, which is in our case Netscape and translated in 2017. That means that this application is Mozilla Firefox. And if you want to get the real name of your application, you can use app called name property. And now we can get as the result that our web browser is Mozilla Firefox. Then if we want to get additional information about our web browser, we can use user agent property. And here you have a lot of information about our web browser. Similarly, for example, we can get the language of our device by using language property. Then we can use platform property. This platform property is going to return as a value the platform of this device. Then we can check with the navigator object if cookies are enabled by using cookie enabled property. In this browser cookies are enabled. Also here we have property hardware concurrency. This property is going to return to us the number of lo logical CPUs used by the device. The processor in my computer is dual core so I have two cores inside then we can check if our device is currently online by using online property. This property indicates to us if our device is connected to a network. Then if we want to find out the information about operating system that is running on our machine, we're going to use OS CPU property. We can also check if our web browser has some plugins. In my case I have just one plugin and that's Shockwave Flash. I gave you a few properties of navigator object. You get the point and you see various types of information that you could get by using this object. Also you can use navigator methods. For example, one of the most commonly used navigator methods is Java enabled. With this method you can check if Java is enabled on your web browser. That's all in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next tutorial. Also you can check other videos inside this playlist. 